Hey, Karis, how's it going? Got a, got a question. Oh, I got a two-part question for you. First, uh, I feel like Joe, his development from where he started uh, maybe three, four years ago when he was just known as a spot-up shooter to today where he's kind of catching the ball, going off the dribble, finishing at the rim. Uh, just can you talk first about, about his development and what you've been, how you've seen him grow over the years? And then secondly, uh, just talk about the adjustments you guys made at halftime to stop Thomas Bryant from hitting so many threes. Yeah, um, you know, Joe's Joe's the guy who's always in the gym. He's always trying to get better, always watching film. Um, so, you know, his maturation and his development honestly hasn't been a huge surprise, especially for a lot of us who see him work each and every single day. Um, it's definitely good to see it in games, but we know what Joe's capable of each and every night. We know how hard he works. Um, so it's, it's great to see that payoff, especially down the stretch of a game like that. Um, Thomas Bryant, you know, that was the game plan. We told Jay to protect the rim. Um, and that's going to be his role going forward. So we were okay with some of those shots. Uh, we just tried to make him, you know, second guess him a little bit like that. But, you know, in the second half, he, he missed a couple of them and we were good with it. Brian? Hey, Karis, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm just curious what, uh, when you go in the second half and you're putting up whatever, 25 in the second half, 14 in the last six minutes. How much of that was a tactical change and how much of that was you kind of simply realizing what your team needed? We, re we realized we really needed to win right there. Um, you know, the guys who've been here, myself, J.A. and Joe, we kind of took it into our own hands. And you, know, you can't lose this game. We know it's that thing. You can't lose this game. So we just went in there and gave it everything we had. Alex? Harris, kind of, kind of talking about Jared, you know, obviously he's your lone center on the team with experience and, and you know, anything happens to him, the, the game plan changes. How do you think he's kind of handled his his level of importance, obviously, through these two games, given there's been, you know, no foul trouble with him and he's obviously shot and played at a really high level? Yeah, Jay's, you know, he's been huge for us. He's the anchor of our defense each and every night. He knows that. Um, and offensively, he was huge as well, finishing everything around the rim, making all his free throws. Um, discouraging guys going to the rim. You know, that's what we need from Jay. He's uh, he's going to be one of the best bigs in the league for a long time. Um, once he starts doing that, he's starting to do it consistently. You know, and we see it, everybody else sees it. It's a joy to see, honestly, because he's so young. Um, but we're going to need that each and every night. Uh, 